Hello traders, this is Rich Terry from TradeSite. This is a look at our scans for the NASDAQ leaders for this coming session. This is going to be for April 11th, 2013. Got a pretty strong day going on here. We've got uh, mostly upside signals here from the uh, from the scans. We've got a couple of differential sell signals, but they're definitely uh, kind of outweighed here by the upside CPS sell, uh, up, upside CPS buy signals. We've got a couple of volume bumps here. We've got one in Adobe. We've got one in Baidu. A lot of volume today, again, in First Solar. Also, Juniper is trading good volume, as well as SanDisk. First Solar is pretty weak, just kind of just giving back some of uh, that monstrous gain it had yesterday. Um, as far as the open-close deviations, Amgen, AMGN, very, very strong, 3% above the uh, above the open, and uh, starting to get very extended on the daily. Juniper also uh, very strongly closing above the uh, above the open. That's going to be a big, uh, real body on the candle. Same with Clack and Sandesk. Moving on to the uh, financials, uh, a little bit more paired off here with a couple of buys and a couple of sells. Pretty good volume today in American Express, so that's going to be on my list for tomorrow. Bank of America right now is conflicted with the buy and the sell signal, which will probably resolve itself before the close. Energy names, um, not really seeing too much that's sticking out here. There's some 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 things are strong, some are weak, but not really seeing uh, uh, any particular theme here. We do have more buy signals and sell signals, so on balance, this is better to buy for tomorrow, at least for the early indication. As far as the generals go, the generals are fairly well paired off. Uh, Best Buy's got a downside CPS sell signal. It's more than four percent below the open. We had a short short play in that today that worked out very nicely. We took that fairly early and have have nice profit in that. We've got a volume bump in Pfizer that should be noted. Moving on to the housing names. These are starting to get a little sloppy here. We've got downside CPS sell, uh, sell signals and a bunch of them. NVR, Hovnanian, and Toll. And a couple of them have, have a bit of a volume bump here. So these are going to be on my list for tomorrow. Transportations a little bit mixed. FDX is pretty strong today. Some weakness uh, in some of these others, but uh, on balance, they're better to buy also. As far as the commodities go, uh, ABX uh, is really weak. Gold's getting hit very hard today. ABX is down 6% below the open on, on big volume. Could be getting close to a washout in some of these names. Silver Wheaton also very, very weak. Um, one day up yesterday, these things got hit hard today. So the volatility is increasing. And that often happens when you approach a bottom or a top. It's when the volatility expands when neither uh, party is is, uh, is really in control and wants to maintain control. So keep an eye on those. All right, folks, that's going to be it for today. As always, thanks for listening. And this has been Rich Derrick for TradeSite.